Labuan Jawi, Labuan officially the Federal Territory of Labuan Malay, Wilaya Persekutuan Labuan, Jawi, Vlaviskutwan Labuan is a federal territory of Malaysia. It is made up of the eponymous Labuan Island and six smaller islands, and is located off the coast of the state of Sabah in East Malaysia. Labuan's capital is Victoria and is best known as an offshore financial centre offering international financial and business services via Labuan IBFC since 1990 as well as being an offshore support hub for deepwater oil and gas activities in the region. It is also a tourist destination for people travelling through Sabah, nearby Bruneians and scuba divers. The name Labuan derives from the Malay word Labuan which means harbour. Labuan is often referred to as the Pearl of Borneo. History For three centuries from the 15th century, the north and west coast of Borneo including the island of Labuan was part of the Sultanate of Brunei. In the 18th century, Labuan attracted British interest. James Brooke acquired the island for Britain through the Treaty of Labuan with the Sultan of Brunei, Omar Ali Saifuddin II on 18 December 1846. A British naval officer, Rodney Mundy, visited Brunei with his ship HMS Iris to keep the Sultan in line until the British government made a final decision to take the island and he took Pengaran Mumin to witness the island's accession to the British Crown on 24 December 1846. Some sources state that during the signing of the treaty, the Sultan had been threatened by a British Navy warship ready to fire on the Sultan's palace if he refused to sign the treaty while another source says the island was ceded to Britain as a reward for assistance in combating pirates. The main reason why the British possessed the island was to protect their own interest in the region as a naval base and to suppress piracy in the South China Sea. The British also believed the island could be the next Singapore. The island became a crown colony in 1848 with James Brooke appointed as the first governor and commander-in-chief, with William Napier as his lieutenant governor. In 1849, the Eastern Archipelago Company became the first of several British companies to try to exploit Labuan coal deposits. The company was formed to exploit coal deposits on the island and adjacent coast of Borneo but soon became involved in a dispute with James Brooke. Not proving itself a great commercial or strategic asset, administration of Labuan was handed to the British North Borneo Company in 1890. In 1894, a submarine communications cable was built by the British to link the island's communications with North Borneo, Singapore and Hong Kong for the first time. By 30 October 1906, the British government proposed to extend the boundaries of the strait settlements to include Labuan. The proposal took effect from 1 January 1907. British conquest of Labuan In World War II, Labuan was occupied by Japan from 3 January 1942 until June 1945 and governed as part of the Northern Borneo Military Unit by the Japanese 37th Army. The island served as the administrative center for the Japanese forces. During the occupation, the Japanese government changed the island name to Maida Island on 9 December 1942 after Marquis Toshinari Maida, as a remembrance to the first Japanese commander in northern Borneo who was killed in an air crash at Bentulu, Sarawak went en route to the island to open the airfield there. As the Allied counterattack came closer, the Japanese also developed Labuan and Brunei Bay as a naval base. The liberation of Borneo by the Allied forces began on 10 June 1945 when the Australian Army under the command of Australian Major General George Wooten launched an attack under the codename of Operation Oboe 6. Labuan became the main objective for the Allied forces to repossess. Soon, the 9th Division of the Australian Army launched the attack with support from airstrikes and sea bombardments until the capture of the Labuan airstrip. Most of the Labuan Island area including the main town of Victoria was under the control of Allied forces within four days of the landing on 10 June. On 9 September 1945, the Japanese Lieutenant General Masao Baba officially surrendered at a place now known as Surrender Point near the Layang Layang Beach which he had been brought to the 9th Division headquarters on the island to sign the surrender document in front of the Australian 9th Division Army Commander George Wooten. 
The name of Labuan was later restored by the British and the island was administered under the British military administration together with the rest of the Straits settlements. Labuan then on 15 July 1946 joined the North Borneo Crown Colony, which in turn became a part of the state of Sabah and Malaysia in 1963. In 1984, the government of Sabah ceded Labuan to the federal government which later been accessed to a federal territory. It was declared an international offshore financial center and free trade zone in 1990. Postage stamps and postal history A post office was operating in Labuan by 1864, and used a circular date stamp as postmark. The postage stamps of India and Hong Kong were used on some mail, but they were probably carried there by individuals, instead of being on sale in Labuan. Mail was routed through Singapore. From 1867, Labuan officially used the postage stamps of the Straits settlements but began issuing its own in May 1879. Although initially the design for the first stamp issue was proposed to be depicting a clump of sago palms, for economic reasons, the Queen Head's design was finally adopted, having been used initially for postage stamps of Granada. The first stamps of Labuan therefore depict the usual profile of Queen Victoria but are unusual for being inscribed in Malay Arabic and Chinese scripts in addition to Labuan postage. Perennial shortages necessitated a variety of surcharges in between the several reprints and color changes of the 1880s. The original stamps were engraved, but the last of the design, in April 1894, were done by lithography. Beginning in May 1894, the stamps of North Borneo were overprinted. Labuan". On 24 September 1896, the 50th anniversary of the session was marked by overprinting. 1846, Jubilee, 1896", on North Borneo stamps. Additional overprints appeared through the 1890s. In 1899 many types were surcharged with a value of 4 cents. The last Labuan only design came out in 1902, depicting a crown and inscribed, Labuan Colony. After incorporation into the Straits settlements in 1906, Labuan ceased issuing its own stamps, although they remained valid for some time. Many of the remainder were cancelled to order for sale to collectors and are now worth only pennies. Genuine franked, post used stamps are worth much more. Geography <laughs> 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 Labuan's area comprises the main island, Labuan Island, 91.64 square kilometers or 35.38 square miles, and six other smaller islands: Burung, Dart, Karaman, Big Rusukan, Small Rusukan, and Papan Island, with a total area of 91.64 square kilometers, 35.38 square miles. The islands lie 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles off the coast of Borneo, adjacent to the Malaysian state of Sabah and to the north of Brunei Darussalam, on the northern edge of Brunei Bay facing the South China Sea. Labuan Island is mainly flat and undulating. Its highest point is Bukit Kubong at 148 meters, 486 feet above sea level. Over 70% of the island is still covered with vegetation. The main town area of Victoria is located in a position facing Brunei Bay. Topic: Islands. Labuan Island, Dart Island, Papan Island, Burung Island, Karaman Island, Big Rusukan Island, Pulau Rusukan Bezar. Small Rusukan Island, Pulau Rusukan Kessel. Topic: Climate. Labuan has a tropical rainforest climate with no dry season. Over the course of a year, the temperature typically varies from 25 to 32 degrees Celsius (77 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit) and is rarely below 24 degrees Celsius (75 degrees Fahrenheit) or above 33 degrees Celsius (91 degrees Fahrenheit). 
The warm season lasts from 1 April to 13 June with an average daily high temperature above 31 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest day of the year is 29 April, with an average high of 32 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and low of 26 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The cold season lasts from 7 January to 17 February with an average daily high temperature below 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest day of the year is 8 September, with an average low of 25 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and high of 31 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The weather station for Labuan is located at Labuan Airport. Thunderstorms are the most severe precipitation observed in Labuan during 60% of those days with precipitation. They are most likely around October, when they occur very frequently. Meanwhile, the relative humidity for Labuan typically ranges from 63% mildly humid to 96% very humid over the course of the year, rarely dropping below 53% and reaching as high as 100% extremely humid. Demographics Population and religion According to Malaysia's Department of Statistics, Labuan population for 2010 was at 86,908 and it is projected to be at 91,300 for 2013. In 2015, the population was reported to be at 96,800, surpassing the 2013 estimate. The ethnic composition in 2010 in Labuan was Brunei Malay and Kedayan 30,001, Kadazan Dusan 7,380, Baju 6,300, Murat and Lun Bawang Lundaya 701, Chinese 10,014, Indian 641, other ethnic 19,727 and non-Malaysian citizen 12,144. The majority of Chinese people in Labuan are from the Hokkien dialect group, however, there are also many hackers, most of whom are migrants or descendants of migrants from Sabah. As of 2010 census the population of Labuan is 76.0% Muslim, 12.4% Christian, 9.0% Buddhist, 0.4% Hindu, 2.1% follower of other religions, and 0.1% non-religious. Economy The economy of Labuan thrives on its vast oil and gas resources and international investment and banking services. Labuan is a very much an import-export oriented economy. Virtually all of its commodities including crude oil, methanol, HBI, gas, flour, animal feed, sea products and ceramic tiles are exported either to peninsular Malaysia or overseas. Raw materials, parts and equipments for industrial use as well as consumer products are imported. In 2004, the total value of Labuan's external trade reached 11.8 billion Malaysian ringgit from only 5 billion Malaysian ringgit in 1995 for a net trade surplus of 5.1 billion Malaysian ringgit. Among its major trade partners are India, Peninsula Malaysia, Sarawak and South Korea. 65% of its exports are petroleum and gas-based products. The gross domestic product (GDP) of Labuan is estimated at 3.63 billion Malaysian ringgit in 2012 with a growth rate of 5.8%. Labuan GDP per capita in 2012 is 39,682 Malaysian ringgit. The total employment for Labuan is around 39,800 in 2012. The main economic sectors in Labuan is service and manufacturing which contributed 94.6% to the island GDP. The service sector consisted mainly of finance and insurance and real estate and business services. Meanwhile, the manufacturing sector consists mainly of oil and gas industry and support. The Labuan International Business and Financial Center Labuan IBFC was created as Malaysia's only offshore financial hub in October 1990 and was operating under the name of Labuan International Offshore Financial Center 
At the time it was established to strengthen the contribution of financial services to the gross national product GNP of Malaysia as well as to develop the island and its surrounding vicinity. The jurisdiction, supervised by the Labuan Offshore Financial Services Authority or LOFSA, offers benefits such as 3% tax on net audited results or a flat rate of Malaysian ringgit MYR 20,000 to trading companies, low operational costs, liberal exchange controls, and a host of other advantages including readily available, experienced and professional service providers. In 2010 the notion, offshore was excluded from all the statutes of Labuan due to world pressure on the tax havens and offshores. Since its inception, the jurisdiction has expanded to become a base for more than 6,500 offshore companies and more than 300 licensed financial institutions including world-leading banks. Labuan IBFC is embarking on an aggressive growth strategy to become the premier international business and financial center in the Asia-Pacific region. Labuan's business focus is on five core areas, offshore holding companies, captive insurance, sharia-compliant Islamic finance structures, public and private funds and wealth management. Labuan IBFC's position is further enhanced by the launch of the Malaysian International Islamic Finance Centre initiative in August 2006. Government. Labuan is one of the Malaysian federal government territories. The island is administered by the federal government through the Ministry of Federal Territories. Labuan Corporation is the municipal government for the island and is headed by a chairman who is responsible for development and administration of the island. Labuan has one representative in each of the lower and upper houses of parliament. Typically, the current Member of Parliament of Labuan will be appointed to become Chairman of Labuan Corporation. The island is represented in the lower house of Parliament by MP Ross's man Datuk Haji Isli and in the upper house by Senator Yunus Karouche. Below is the list of Administrator of Labuan Corporation from 2001 to current date. Administrative subdivision. The federal territory is administratively subdivided into the capital Bandar Labuan formerly Victoria and 27 Kampung administrative villages, and which are ruled by appointed Ketua Kampung headmen. <laughs> <laughs> Security Security is the responsibility of the federal government, with naval patrol vessels, a garrison and an air detachment based on the island. The vigilance of the local Coast Guard and Customs and Excise contribute to the maintenance of Labuan's reputation and status as an international offshore financial center and free trade zone. <laughs> Places of interest There are several attractions and places of interest on Labuan. The Labuan War Cemetery contains various war graves and memorials to the fallen of World War II. This includes British, Australian, Indian, Sarawakian, Bruneian, North Borneo and Empire troops, making it the largest war grave with 3,908 graves of fallen soldiers. A memorial service is held on Remembrance Day once every four years. There is also a memorial celebrating the surrender of the Japanese to the Australian forces in 1945. There are also remnants of Labuan's history as a Royal Navy coaling station, including the Chimney, a well-known local landmark. There is also a Labuan Maritime Museum. Labuan is also the base for diving on four popular wreck dives, the Cement Wreck, the American Wreck, the First USS Salute, the Australian Wreck and the Blue Water Wreck. Labuan has many schools. However, it has only one international school, Labuan International School. Other places of interest include the Labuan International Sea Sport Complex. Newly proposed is the Marina Centre and Labuan Square project which are completed in 2010. Labuan's own institution of higher education is University Malaysia Sabah Labuan International Campus, a branch of University Malaysia Sabah in Sepangar Bay, Kota Kinabalu. 
Labuan also has a matriculation college, College Matriculasi Labuan, the only matriculation college in East Malaysia. Thus, all pre-university students from Sabah, Sarawak and Labuan will take their courses here. Notable residents Yusof Mahal, politician from Barazan National Party and former member of parliament for Labuan. Roseman Datuk H.J. Isley, is the member of parliament of Labuan after the 2018 general election. Kelvin Tao, young entrepreneur and season one winner of reality show Love Me Do. Suresh Singh, right-hand bowler who plays for Malaysian cricket national team. Karen Kong, Malaysia pop singer. Hassan Sani, Malaysian and Sabah football player. Topic. See also. Labuan teleport. <laughs>